Welcome back to the Tierney Education YouTube page where we spend some time going over some introductory economics questions. My name is James Tierney. I am the owner and operator of Tierney Education. Check us out at tierneyeducation.com. Here is a question I asked my students where I'm giving them CPI values. So that's the Consumer Price Index. Uh, there are lots of videos on this page that go over CPI, just go ahead and do a search on my page and you can find them. I'll also link some in the description below. So I'm giving my students some info here, uh, the CPI at the beginning and the end of 1995 and to answer the following questions. It asks what the inflation rate during the year was, uh, which we're just going to take the percentage change in CPI. Now, officially, you would want to know what the CPI was technically at the end of 1994 to compare it to the end of 1995, but you'll see throughout this question the reason why I asked the question this way. We just need to have the percentage change, uh, so the inflation for uh, 95 would be the second value 156.9 minus the first value of 152.4 divided by 152.4. We multiply by that by 100 in order to get this into uh, I'm a percentage, so that inflation rate, 1995, we'll use a calculator here, and we'll get 4.5 divided by 152.4 times 100. We plug that into our calculator, and we get 2.95% as our inflation rate. The second part of this question is asking for the real interest rate. Uh, we know this from the Fisher equation. The real interest rate is approximately my nominal interest rate minus inflation. If we're given the nominal interest rate of 2%, then we know the real interest rate is 2% minus 2.95. And so we will get my real interest rate being negative 0.95%. The last question's a little more intense. You see, we're looking for what was the real change in the minimum wage. Again, I always tell my students, make sure you figure out what it's asking before you even start doing any work. And we know the real change in minimum wage. We're gonna, again, have to do some sort of percentage change. And there are a few ways to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put both years into the base year. So basically, I'm going to take nominal values and I'm going to put them into real values. And let's talk about how to do this over here to the right. There's an equation I work with a lot in my introductory class, which is the value in year X equals the value in year Y multiplied by CPI in X over CPI in Y. Now, what we know is that the CPI in the base year is always equal to 100. If that is not clear to you, make sure you go uh, check out some other CPI uh, videos. So if we want to put everything in the base year, then we can say the real value, which is definitely in the base year, is going to be the nominal um, value multiplied by the CPI in X, which is 100, over that CPI in that nominal year. And just by uh, moving the CPI over here by uh, our mathematical rules, we can say that the real value is equal to nominal value, the one that you have, divided by the CPI of that year, times 100. So let's go ahead and find, we go back to our question over here, let's do 95's real value. So let's say real 95 is going to equal to $4.25 over, and we need to figure out the end of 95, the CPI was 156.9, it's over here, top left. So we're gonna divide that by 156.9 times it by 100. Let's get our calculator out and do that. That value is 2.71, so $2.71. Let's find the real value in 1968. Again, we do the same thing. 1968, we saw $1.60 divided by the CPI, which was 35.5. Again, we'll multiply that by 100. Use our calculator and get $4.51. 
And as a little bit of a side note, right, this is basically what the um, the minimum wage in 1995 of 4.25. It was worth $2.71 uh, in the year spanning 1982 to 1984 because that's technically the base year of the CPI. What we're doing is we're taking the minimum wage in 95, minimum wage in 68, and we're putting them both into that year so that way we can do our percentage change, which is what the question's asking us. I'm just make this just slightly smaller so I have slightly more room. So we'll see the second value, right? Our, our percentage change, our real change is going to be 271, 2.71 minus 4.51 because it's second minus the first divided by the first times that by 100. One more time, making it just a little smaller so I can fit it in here so we have our answer. I'll plug this into the calculator and get negative 39.91. Percent. So that was the real change, the purchasing power change of the minimum wage from 1968 to 1995. So it's really important to look at real values when it comes to anything that's nominal so you can see what the purchasing power was. Thank you so much for hanging out during this video. Again, there are lots of other videos on CPI and inflation on this specific playlist, and you can check out all the rest of the videos and make sure that you like and subscribe and feel free to visit tyrannyeducation.com for a free half hour consultation if you have any questions based on economics.